Hello students, uh, as we know that uh, lipid solubility of a drug is required for its absorption and distribution in the body. On the contrary, water solubility of drug and its metabolite is essential for the excretion primarily in the urine. So biotransformation is a process by which lipophilic lipid soluble drug is metabolized and it is converted to a polar or water soluble metabolite that is easily excreted from the body primarily in the urine. Now drugs are metabolized by two types of reactions, phase 1 reactions and the phase 2 reactions. So in this video we are going to study phase 2 reactions for the biotransformation or the metabolism of drugs. And this video is ninth in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now a drug undergoes phase 2 reaction to produce very polar, mostly inactive metabolites that are rapidly excreted primarily in the urine. Now phase 2 reactions are also called as conjugation reactions and a highly polar compound is conjugated with the drug. Now a drug can directly undergo phase 2 reaction or a metabolite of phase 1 reaction can further undergo phase 2 reaction. Now uh, phase 2 or the conjugation reactions are of uh, several types like for example glucuronoid conjugation, acetylation, methylation, sulfonation etc. Now let's discuss phase 2 reactions one by one. Now phase 2 reactions are carried out by microsomal and uh, non-microsomal enzymes. Now first type of phase 2 reaction is the glucuronoid conjugation. Now it is the most important phase 2 metabolic reaction and it is mediated by microsomal glucuronoid transferase. Now uridine diphosphate glucuronic acid that is UDPGA it provides the glucuronic acid and uh, glucuronic acid conjugates with the drug so that drug glucuronoid is formed and uridine diphosphate is released. Now drugs with the hydroxyl group or with the carboxylic acid group are conjugated with the glucuronic acid for example chloramphenicol, aspirin, uh, phenacetine, morphine etc. Now look at this example. Now benzoic acid conjugates with the glucuronic acid to produce a glucuronoid of benzoic acid which is excreted easily from the body. Now a second type of conjugation reaction is the methylation. Now drugs with the uh, OH group then NH2 group then SH group are methylated by non-microsomal methyl transferase enzyme. Now the coenzyme S adenosyl methionine donates the methyl group to the drug. Now drugs like adrenaline, histamine, nicotinic acid are metabolized by the methylation reaction and methylated derivative of the drug is excreted in the urine. Now the third type of conjugation reaction is acetylation. Now drugs with the amino group are conjugated with the acetyl group for example sulfonamide isoniazid, uh, hydrolazine. Now acetyl group is donated by the acetyl coenzyme A and the reaction is mediated by non-microsomal enzyme that is N-acetyl transferase. Now look at this reaction. Paraamino salicylic acid with the amino group is acetylated. Uh, it is acetylated to N-acetylated paraamino salicylic acid which is excreted in the urine. Uh, next type of phase 2 reaction is a sulfate conjugation. Now phenolic compounds uh, with the OH group uh, for example chloramphenicol, steroids undergo sulfate conjugation. Now 3-phosphoadenosine-5-phosphosulfate donates the sulfate group and the reaction is mediated by non-microsomal sulfotransferase enzyme. Now the drug is conjugated to the sulfate group and this metabolite is excreted in the feces. Next type of uh, phase 2 reaction is a glycine conjugation. Now salicylates and the other drugs uh, with the carboxylic acid group are conjugated with a glycine and uh, this uh, glycine conjugation is a minor pathway of metabolism. For example benzoic acid uh, it, uh, with the carboxylic acid group conjugates with the glycine and uh, this conjugated derivative of uh, benzoic acid is uh, excreted in the urine. 
Now, uh, next type of uh, phase 2 reaction is the glutathione conjugation. Now, even though this pathway is a minor pathway of metabolism, it's very important pathway as it inactivates highly reactive uh, quinone or epoxide intermediates which are produced during the metabolism of drugs, for example, paracetamol. Now, drug is conjugated to glutathione by the enzyme glutathione S transferase which is present in the liver and glutathione conjugates are excreted in the feces or these glutathione conjugates are converted to mercapturic acid which is highly water soluble and excreted in the urine. So phase 2 reactions produce primarily inactive and very polar metabolites that are rapidly excreted from the body. So this is in brief on phase 2 biotransformation reactions. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.